Burroughs Corporation. The Burroughs Corporation was a major American manufacturer of business equipment. The company was founded in 1886 as the American Arithmometer Company, and after the 1986 merger with Sperry Univec was renamed Unisys. The company's history paralleled many of the major developments in computing. At its start, it produced mechanical adding machines, and later moved into programmable ledgers and then computers. It was one of the largest producers of mainframe computers in the world, also producing related equipment including typewriters and printers. In 1886, the American Arithmometer Company was established in St. Louis, Missouri to produce and sell an adding machine invented by William Seward Burroughs' grandfather of Beat Generation author William S. Burroughs. In 1904, six years after Burroughs' death, the company moved to Detroit and changed its name to the Burroughs Adding Machine Company. It was soon the biggest adding machine company in America. The adding machine range began with the basic, hand-cranked P100 which was only capable of adding. The design included some revolutionary features, foremost of which was the dashbot. The P200 offered a subtraction capability and the P300 provided a means of keeping two separate totals. The P400 provided a movable carriage, and the P600 and top of the range P612 offered some limited programmability based upon the position of the carriage. The range was further extended by the inclusion of the J series which provided a single finger calculation facility, and the C series of both manual and electrical assisted comptometers. In the late 1960s, the Burroughs sponsored Nixie Tube provided an electronic display calculator. Burroughs developed a range of adding machines with different capabilities, gradually increasing in their capabilities. A revolutionary adding machine was the Sensomatic, which was able to perform many business functions semi automatically. It had a moving programmable carriage to maintain ledgers. It could store 9, 18, or 27 balances during the ledger posting operations and worked with a mechanical adder named a crossfooter. The Sensumatic developed into the Sensitronic which could store balances on a magnetic stripe which was part of the ledger card. This balance was read into the accumulator when the card was inserted into the carriage. The Sensitronic was followed by the E1000, E2000, E3000, E4000, E6000 and the E8000, which were computer systems supporting card reader slash punches and a line printer. Later, Burroughs was selling more than adding machines, including typewriters. But the biggest shift in company history came in 1953, the Burroughs Adding Machine Company was renamed the Burroughs Corporation and began moving into computer products, initially for banking institutions. This move began with Burroughs' purchase in June 1956, of the Electrodata Corporation in Pasadena, California, a spin-off of the Consolidated Engineering Corporation which had designed test instruments and had a cooperative relationship with Caltech in Pasadena. Electrodata had built the Datatron 205 and was working on the Datatron 220. The first major computer product that came from this marriage was the B205 tube computer. In the late 1960s, the L and TC series range was produced, for example, the TC500, Terminal Computer 500, which had a golf ball printer and in the beginning a 1K, 64 bit, disk memory. These were popular as branch terminals to the B5500-6500-6700 systems, and sold well in the banking sector, where they were often connected to non-Burroughs mainframes. In conjunction with these products, Burroughs also manufactured an extensive range of check processing equipment, normally attached as terminals to a larger system such as a B2700 or B1700. Burroughs was one of the nine major United States computer companies in the 1960s, with IBM the largest, Honeywell, NCR Corporation, Control Data Corporation, CDC, General Electric, GE, Digital Equipment Corporation, DEC, RCA and Sperry Rand, Univacline. In terms of sales, Burroughs was always a distant second to IBM. In fact, IBM's market share was so much larger than all of the others that this group was often referred to as IBM and the Seven Dwarfs. By 1972 when GE and RCA were no longer in the mainframe business, the remaining five companies behind IBM became known as the Bunch, an acronym based on their initials. At the same time, Burroughs was very much a competitor. Like IBM, Burroughs tried to supply a complete line of products for its customers, including Burroughs designed printers, disk drives, tape drives, computer printing paper, and even typewriter ribbons. In the 1950s, Burroughs worked with the Federal Reserve Bank on the development and computer processing of magnetic ink character recognition, MICR especially for the processing of bank checks. 
Burroughs made special maker slash OCR sorter slash readers which attach to their medium systems line of computers 2700 slash 3700 slash 4700 and this entrenched the company in the computer side of the banking industry. The Burroughs Corporation developed three highly innovative architectures, based on the design philosophy of language-directed design. Their machine instruction sets favored one or many high-level programming languages, such as Algol, COBOL or Fortran all three architectures were considered mainframe class machines. In September 1986, Burroughs Corporation merged with Sperry Corporation to form Unisys. For a time, the combined company retained the Burroughs processors as the A and B systems lines. However, as the market for large systems shifted from proprietary architectures to common servers, the company eventually dropped the V-series line, although customers continued to use V-series systems. Unisys continues to develop and market the A-series, now known as ClearPath. In 2010, Unisys sold off its payment systems division to Marlin Equity Partners, a California-based private investment firm, which incorporated it as Burroughs Payment Systems based in Plymouth, Michigan. Burroughs B205 hardware has appeared as props in many Hollywood television and film productions from the late 1950s. For example, a B205 console was often shown in the television series Batman as the Bat Computer, also as the computer in Lost in Space. B205 tape drives were often seen in series such as The Time Tunnel and Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Craig Ferguson, American talk show host, comedian and actor was a Burroughs apprentice in Cumbernauld, Scotland. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.